Once our ICF walls are roughly six feet high, we are ready for bracing. Drop two zonts, roughly five feet on center, around the perimeter of the foundation. Starting from the corner, place your first zont at the top of the ICF wall. Screw the second zont directly below at the bottom of the second course of ICF. Continue this process every five to six feet until your braces meet. Place horizontal whalers into the cavity of the zont bracket. Scab overlaps on butt ends for continuity, screwing from below to avoid concrete later. Next, place the vertical strong back into the zont cavity. Twist the cam lock downward to lock the lumber to the ICF wall. Compression of the ICF wall during the concrete pour will only tighten on the cam lock. Once our whalers and strong backs are installed, we are ready for the diagonal kickers. Attach the Zuckel wall aligner to the bottom of a 2x4. Installing the Zuckel near the top of the wall will allow for one man adjustment but leaves the zuckle prone to concrete splash. Installing the zuckle to internal footings keeps the zuckle clean, but requires two individuals to adjust the wall. Work around the perimeter and drill adjust the zuckles until your walls are plumb. Once our kickers are installed, we are ready to build our walkway. Unfold the ZAT walkway bracket and install it to the vertical strong back. Place the zap bracket roughly three feet from where the top of the wall will be. Then, install your walkway according to local code, making sure not to fully attach it until the walls are completely straight. Continue building the ICF wall until final height is reached. Install the final zonk bracket at the top of the ICF wall using an extension bit to get around the vertical strong back. Install your final set of whalers, run string lines, and we're ready for concrete.